Tobacco is grown at the Pioneer Farmer's site to show Washington's main crop when he first made Mount Vernon his home in 1754. Its planting technique, care and harvest all reflect the common way of farming. Once tobacco plants are mature, they are checked daily for priming, suckering, and worming needs. Priming tobacco is removing the small leaves from near the base of the plant. This encourages the plant to grow taller, faster. Sucker shoots are offshoot stalks growing from the main stalk of the tobacco plant that should be removed as soon as they are spotted, as they rob nutrients from the leaves in the main plant. The biggest pest that eats tobacco is the hornworm, a bright green caterpillar that eats the leaves of the tobacco plant. Evidence of hornwork activity is generally shown by holes in the leaves of the plant. Once the tobacco plant reaches about four to five feet in height, it will generally begin to show the signs of developing flowers. These flowers will in turn develop into seed pods. Once the plant shows signs of starting to flower, the top of the plant must be cut off. This will encourage larger growth in the leaves as the plant is not directing nutrients to the development of the seed pods. When tobacco is ready to harvest, the leaves will begin to change color very gradually. The leaves, usually a vivid bright green, will begin to show some yellow mottling on them. To harvest tobacco, the entire plant is cut down near the base and laid beside the hill for about a half hour to wilt. Traditionally, tobacco was harvested using a large machete. For demonstration purposes, we are using a sickle in this case. The plant is loaded into wagons and transported to tobacco barns for curing. At Mount Vernon, wagons could be traveling great distances due to the vastness of Washington's cultivated lands. When the tobacco arrives at the barns, it is unloaded and a slit cut vertically along the stalk, about six to eight inches in length. Four or five plants are placed on each tobacco stick and care is taken to make sure that none of the plants are touching each other. When the tobacco is staked, it is hoisted up into the rafters of the barn for curing. Air curing tobacco is going to be 100% dependent on the weather. In dry seasons, curing can take as little as three to four weeks. In damper seasons, it may take as long as six to seven weeks. Tobacco that has been fully cured should take on a brownish color and have the consistency of nicely tanned leather. Washington, along with others, was becoming frustrated with the English-controlled system of exporting and selling tobacco. The system of tobacco planting fostered an economy where the colonies, especially Virginia, were a source of raw materials for England and a market for English finished goods. Washington wrote that he was no longer raising tobacco for any purpose but to furnish me with goods. Tobacco production at Mount Vernon was greatly reduced.